Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Crystal and in today's video I want to talk about how hormonal birth control actually works. I get a lot of questions about hormonal birth control. I know it's a topic that you guys want me to talk more about so I thought I would dip my toes in and talk about how hormonal birth control actually works because I think that is a really really important piece of information that for a lot of us I don't know if we really know how it works. I know when I was first on my menstrual health journey I had no idea how hormonal birth control worked. All I knew is that if you used it, you didn't get pregnant. And I was like, oh, okay. I had no idea how it worked. Now, this is an overview video. I'm not gonna go through each type of hormonal birth control because each type of hormonal birth control actually falls into one of two categories. And in the first category, we have combination birth control. So this birth control is made up of synthetic estrogen as well as synthetic progesterone. Now, synthetic progesterone is also known as progestin. So that is what I'm going to to be referring to it as in this video. So combination birth control includes pills, patches, and rings. So those are the options that you might be presented with when you are asking your doctor about hormonal birth control options. Now the way that this type of hormonal birth control works is by sending messages to your brain that tells your brain that there are enough sex hormones in the body and that it doesn't need to create any more. So what this does is this actually suppresses your natural hormone production and results in your ovaries not releasing an egg because if you're not having hormone fluctuations you're not going to have a natural rise in estrogen and you're not going to have a surge of LH at ovulation so your body just doesn't ovulate and that is an important part of understanding how these combination hormonal birth control options work is that they work by suppressing ovulation and so you do not ovulate now we move on to the other category of hormonal birth control and that is synthetic progestin only birth control options. So these options include pills, hormonal IUDs, implants, as well as injectables. So this means that these only contain synthetic progestin. So progestin only hormonal birth control works differently than the combination hormonal birth control. So progestin only birth control options work by thickening cervical mucus as well as changing the endometrial lining. So an egg cannot implant on the lining and they also reduce fallopian motility. So basically when you release an egg, your fallopian tube has to like move that egg <laughs> um, into your uterus and progestin only options reduce that motility. Now I will say the combination birth control pills, they do also work in the same way as the progesterone pill. So they can change your cervical mucus. They can also change your uterine lining. So I just wanted to add that in um, as a little side note. Now you might have noticed when I was listing off all those things that progestin only birth control does, I didn't include ovulation suppression. And that is because progestin only birth control options don't always suppress ovulation. They totally can. And for many people, that is what they experience, but they don't always work like that. So you could potentially ovulate when you are taking these things. So there you go. That is how the different hormonal birth control options work. I wanted to make this video before jumping into other more in-depth videos on hormonal birth control because I think it's really important to understand how it works. These synthetic hormones are very powerful. And so once you start putting them into your body, your body basically just doesn't produce its own hormones because it is overrun with these other hormones. And these other hormones are much more potent, but they are synthetic. So they don't work in the same way as your natural estrogen and progesterone. So you do not get the same benefits from them. These are not identical to the hormones that your body produces, they just, they aren't. And so that is why oftentimes you can have some side effects because these synthetic hormones just are not identical. And that is why if you come off of birth control, you might experience like a lot of side effects or you might also experience some symptoms return that you thought had gone away when you were on birth control. And so I hope this explains everything as simplistically as possible. I really try to keep it simple on here because I don't want to overwhelm you guys with this information. But if you have any questions, please let me know in the comments. And I just really appreciate you watching this video. As always, your cycle matters so much and I'm here for you. And I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.